Big Red marks the beginning or the end of most Simpson Crossing trips. For me, it was both the beginning and the end. A few weeks earlier, I'd left here to cross the Simpson via the WAA line to Mount Dare, visited Uluru, and then headed back via the Madigan line. And this video is about the Madigan line. Looks remote? Well, it is. This is the start of the Madigan line. Bins track, which runs from Old Andado Station up to Alice Springs is a couple of hundred metres behind the camera. But that way is the most northern track across the Simpson, the Simpson Desert. One FJ, one person, let's see what we can find. Thank you. 
line continues to impress and surprise me. What I've stumbled across is where chipping of, of stone artifacts occurred. Now the stones that I have in my hand have been very well chipped and I will show you one of them which looks to be um, potentially a, a spear tip. Different one, I haven't seen one like this before but it's you can see it's um, shaped like an arrowhead and that's very sharp. I'll turn it side on and you can see. And so it's been chipped all along that edge, this edge, this edge and that edge as well. Um, so that couldn't have occurred naturally. So I'm assuming that was intended to be a spear tip. Now how many hundreds or thousands of years this old this is, I couldn't say but it's obviously um, an artifact that needs to remain here on country as with this one. What a beautiful morning here in the Simpson Desert. Yesterday I did a long day along the Madigan and met the Hay River track and drove up that little bit and camped where there's a few trees. There hasn't been many trees at all for a good hundred kilometers and not much wildlife at all. Uh, it looked very green and, and beautiful conditions but really 
the birds hadn't ventured out there. So it was green with, without the animals, without the birds. But here on the Hay River track, where the Hay River runs occasionally, we've got some, some trees and you can he probably hear all the birds in the background. Um, it's great, magic. Another red sky in the morning, warning this morning. So this weather's not over, I don't think. And looking behind me, I reckon we can probably count on some more showers at least today. It's a full moon later today, so I'm hoping the, the cloud will clear by then. And uh, let's see how we go. More exploring to do.